Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Angela. In case you've never come to my channel before, welcome. Uh, today's video is actually a Sephora haul. Alright, so let's just start the video. Now, uh, I wanted to do a lot of makeup tutorials for you guys, which is why I went ahead and bought some really expensive makeup products. So, the first is this. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Liquid Foundation. This is one of my more recent buys and um, it is in the shade 8. Now this is really the wrong colour for me. When I do the review, I will let you see. I'm going to do a review of it so you can be sure. I'm going to give you my honest opinions. Okay, the box is really nice on the inside. Look at that. Why, why do you make a box so beautiful? How do I throw the box away now? It makes me think that my money has been spent on the box. Okay. Uh, so this one is from Urban Decay. Did I already mention that? I should have. Um, it's a full coverage, long wear, matte finish, waterproof, oil-free uh, liquid foundation that is 30ml or 1 fluid ounce. So this is what it looks like. Oh, so pretty, right? Yes, it's really pretty, but it is so light. I think it's all plastic. It's all plastic. I'm already like... Huh? <laughs> so, uh, okay, yeah, but you can look forward to it. I will actually show you what it's like in a full review of it. Now, I'm going to go on to another foundation that I actually bought way beforehand, way, way beforehand, but I'm just putting it into this video because it's hard to just, I, I, I haven't talked about it yet, but I've started using it, you guys would have seen. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Oil Free uh, undetectable medium to full coverage foundation and once again I will do a review for you guys and to be very honest between the two I like this one a lot this is in the shade sand okay and loads of interesting things it says it says infused with coconut water alpine rose hyaluronic acid for a smoother more youthful appearance and I think that is quite true that's really good for the I woke up like this perfection. Born this way. I was born this way, yeah. Really, really nice um, foundation. I really love it. And look at the bottle. Now this is super heavy. How many ml is this? This is also 30 ml, but like there's a big difference in the packaging. This looks super like I spent my money on this. And this one, yeah, it looks nice. Let me just take it out of the box again. It looks nice, but um, I can feel that my hand's going down like this over here, and my hand's like, ah, uh, over here. But I think the price-wise, this was more expensive. Between the two, I'm a fan of this one. I'm sorry, I'm already giving you a review right now, but yeah. So, uh, this one is in the shade sand, as I told you. Uh, I like it a lot. Both are pump applicators. This one is this kind of a pump. This one is this kind of a pump and yeah basically I like both of them I think are quite good it's just that I can easily tell you which one is a winner for me I have combination to oily skin um, and I have parts of my skin that are a little bit dry since it's combination so that's why I think I prefer the Bond This Way okay the other thing I bought is this from Tarte now this is um, the Tartist lip paint, but this is a mini version. It's really mini, you guys. The box is deceiving. It looks like, you know, it might be a big, bigger size or something, but it's really mini. But affordable. No, not really affordable, but I couldn't bring myself to spend so much money on those lip paints on their own. So this is the only one, it, this is the only shade available in this mini, which is, the shade is, what is it called? Oh, I don't know the name of this one. Was it called? Was it called? It's the lip contour set, but what is the color? So this is later Graham Tartis lip crayon, and this one just it didn't give me the name. It's T B T Tartis creamy matte lip paint. For me, I just looked at the color. I didn't think of the name. So I, I'm sorry that I cannot tell you guys what the name is. 
looks like that and this one looks like this so teeny tiny teeny tiny but it, it packs a punch so I can can just roll it up and I've got my lip pencil right there let me just swatch it for you since this is a lip ah I broke it that's so dumb that's the worst thing to do I probably don't have much product here but I broke it look at that but this is a great nude you guys I really like it a lot for me and then this is the lip paint very nice very moisturizing does not feel dry at all it looks like that because <laughs> it's so small and cute um, and it has a peppermint sort of uh, scent to it which some people might like some might not but there we are that those are the colors they are more or less the same color I think probably it's this one's also called later gram I guess yeah well the lip liner stays though it's not moving now it's not it doesn't smudge much so I think I could just use the lip liner on its own as well I like having samples because I am someone who likes to have many things so that I can sort of look through and tell you guys what's good what's not and then uh, finally what I bought is this one from Becca it's the Jaclyn Hill champagne split shimmering skin perfector mineral blush in champagne pop and hyacinth ha, 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 ha. you can see the camera you can see the reflection right there oh my gosh it's so beautiful look at the gold packaging when I saw this I was like <gasps> oh, I had that aha moment because you know I wanted to buy I wanted to buy that whole pan you know the, the one with all the blush colors and champagne pop and Prosecco pop and I wanted to buy that but then I hesitated and I told myself girl you know would you use it all you know that stupid minimalist in me was telling me that I shouldn't waste my money that you know very frugal person was telling me the person being me in my head telling me girl you don't need this and I was like okay even when I saw it in store I could have just like bought one you know it brought me so much regret seriously it brought me so much regret that I told myself girl before this goes out of stock you better buy it and I bought it <laughs> well it's two in one at least it's not the the just the champagne pop highlighter because I prefer things that are two in one you know what I mean so when I go out you know I've got two things that could help me like look at the packaging you guys this is like a beauty don't you think um in real life it looks much prettier I don't, I don't know why in the camera it's not like so pretty but in real life it's so pretty and it's so substantial when I hold it I know I paid money for the packaging you know I paid money for the packaging like if you're gonna pay so much money you better have good packaging um, and then <laughs> and the beautiful mirror which I have not smudged up yet I say yet because I'm pretty sure I will smudge it up. And these are the colours. Let me swatch them for you. Now, on the website, I bought, I actually bought these off the website. Because I'm so lazy to go in store. So I'm going to swatch this. I think a lot of people didn't buy this because it's a very bright colour, the hyacinth. The other colours are out of stock. But you know, thank God I'm brown skinned. So, in Singapore, in a way, if you're brown skinned, you may be able to get some stuff because most people go for light. Like since the majority of people here are Chinese, they go for the lighter colors and things like that. So, thank God I don't need to compete. I can just get something bright like this, and it's still gonna look beautiful on me because I'm brown skinned. Okay, and. Yeah, actually, to be honest, you can use this even if you're not brown skinned. It's just that you need to be really subtle with it. But to be honest, when you take your brush and you just touch it, there's already color coming off. So the pigmentation is amazing. I recommend this. Now I'm going to show you Champagne Pop. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Champagne Pop. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, I smudged it out for you guys. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Beauty this beauty can you see it should I put more yeah I think I should 
So, this is me not smudging it out and then me smudging it out. Do you see the difference? To me, this is a beauty, you guys. It's so... It's not like a... This champagne pop, it works so well on brown skin, don't you think? It's like so gold and pretty and... Uh, even though it would probably look really shimmery, it looks so subtle at the same time. Actually, I already have it on my face. In case you think my face looks really glowy. It's because I have already got it on my face. Ah! <laughs> this is like my star buy. I love this one. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so yeah. Um, after I bought all of those things. Actually, once I bought the lip paint. Because I, I bought it online. And I, to be honest, I don't know how to use their website. I did not know. Now I know. I wanted to buy all of these like on uh, on sale when it was 10% off. So I was supposed to write the promotion code, right? But you guys, I was so... S I don't want to say the word. I was so smart that I didn't scroll down and see where to put the um, uh, promotion code. Instead, I went on to make payment. And I was like, oh, dang it. I should have just gone to the shop. I'm, I'm, I'm someone like that, you know. I need to go to the shop and buy things that way because... I'm still quite old school but you know buying things online is so easy and you, it's just easy and so I got this is a welcome gift Sephora welcome it says um, this is worth I don't remember how much but it's a avocado mask and I already have these because I've gotten them as gifts and uh, yeah things like that so yay thank you Sephora but I bought so much, you know, I spent so much money, like full price, and this is the only gift I got. <laughs> what? Also bought the Real Turn On set from Benefit, and it has the What's Up highlighter, which I really like. I've got a swatch here on the furthest right, um, and I haven't blended it out. If you blend it out, it's really, really subtle and really beautiful. If you saw my favorites video, I think I would have shown it to you guys. And it also has the Dare Real Mascara, which is really great at giving you those falsy effect lashes. I bought this off of Carousel since this is limited edition in Sephora. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and a thumbs up, comment, subscribe please. I want to have more interaction with you guys and I want to make more videos in the future so that would really help me out. If you would like me to subscribe to you, also let me know and I will subscribe to you. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye!